Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And guys, I wanted to share with you a very interesting trip here. The, what you're seeing on the screen now is from the time that I was there at St. James Church, a video I shared with you a little while back. Uh, and I promised to show you the inside of this church. As you're seeing now, this was actually like a table there uh, as you go down the steps inside there at the very bottom. And of course, uh, some of the peaks that I showed you from around uh, the si inside of St. James's Church. Uh, again, from another side, these are the steps where you're actually going down. Uh, and then, of course, if you look at a side view here, that's the door you saw at the bottom of the steps. And that supposedly, it's like a tunnel that goes from there all the way to Jaffa Gate. Uh, but what we're going to be talking about is going to be a little bit more spectacular in this particular uh, presentation I wanted to share with you, as I said the other day. And that was that uh, outside of the gates there of what would have been the Essene Gate, out what you're looking at now off the top of Mount Zion, I believe this is where Yeshua himself actually came up and uh, would enter into the Essene Quarter where the apostles would actually wash their feet. Looking through the trees here, a little place I discovered recently inside of Jerusalem, a little kept secret. Of course, this is the Essene Gate that some believe that it is, but this might be the place that I think the Essene Gate actually may be. Maybe there was more than one way into the Essene Quarter, not really sure. But if you notice all these huge rocks that they stick out there in front of this place here, I just can't help but wonder what are they trying to hide? This wall, by the way, was just outside the area there where St. James's Church is. And of course, looking from the backside of the gate, there's a lot of dirt that's been piled up here. What's all that dirt all about? Well, I'm going to share that with you in a few moments. And again, of course, you can see across the courtyard here, you're going to see uh, St. James's Church there that they've been trying to keep hid from the world. And don't, you know, really, it's not a public attraction. But that little concrete structure there that you're seeing the top of, that was the entrance to St. James's Church there where the apostles once gathered. But this courtyard had something that we discovered not too long ago that just blew me completely away. There's this little fence here that you see all around this area. It's been kind of knocked down. I found one sign laying on the ground, do not enter. But what it actually is, it's an archaeological dig that's not been made public to the rest of the world. But it's being very professionally done. Now, the thing is, though, this is part of what is known to be the Essene Quarter. This is where the apostles actually would meet at. This is not far from the, uh, the place of the upper room, the Last Supper, where uh, it is believed that Jesus held his, his Last Supper, Yeshua. And uh, this may very fact, whether or not this is an actually was a, a, a room, a building, or whatever, or, or I, don't, I don't necessarily think it might be the outer wall, but if you'll notice right there, that little tiny stones there on your screen now, that's a mosaic floor. You're actually looking at a mosaic floor there. And of course, the stones of another wall or something there that is sitting on top of the mosaic, which I'll take and zoom you in a little bit closer in a moment so you can see part of the floor that we found ourselves uh, on the outside of that. But is I, I took uh, I took Dr. Roddy Brown down here as well. I asked him about this. He said it's definitely being done professionally, but he noted as I did, it doesn't seem that anyone's telling anybody about it. And that was that beautiful mosaic floor that is actually seen there. But the greatest find though is yet to come. As I said to you, I believe that the I have actually found the very mikvah that Yeshua and the apostles used before coming into the Essene quarters and thinking that these mosaics may be where our Lord and the apostles actually tread at one time. Can't really say yes or no, I don't know. But why is it being kept from the rest of the world? Let alone the, about what you're about to see, which is going to be the mikvah itself. This here is another view, though, from this. It's the outer wall there of what we see that's been uncovered. Uh, and the dirt's just being thrown up there on top, but I'm sure they're going through it. Again, back on the outside, though, looking up toward what I think might be the, considered the Essene Gate. But as you go to look around, I'll turn the camera here in just a moment for you to be able to see even more. But again, notice all the stones. They're trying to hide what this is. Nobody, the Jews don't want anybody to know about it. But look right here. As you see there, that's where the mikveh is. 
All right, but I want you to see too where the apostles and stuff would have came up. They would have come up from the valley there. Now down at the very bottom is the Himon Valley. They don't have to necessarily come up to the Himon Valley there, but they can walk around the, on the outside of the, 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 the old city walls there. They would have come up and before they would have actually entered into the Essene Quarter, where just beyond that gate there was St. James's Church, this would have been the mikvah they would have used. And friends, it's the only mikvah in all of Israel that I have actually seen where there is water inside of it. Uh, you know, this is what blew me away. Actually water on the inside of it. And as you, as, as you look down inside of there, there's a little, even a little ledge on the inside of that. I don't really know what the ledge is for, but I was just absolutely mesmerized by this. Uh, my wife was there with me. We, we could not believe what our eyes were seeing. A mikvah that actually is active, still being used. Now, the, the Jewish, the Orthodox community that's right there, they're using this very mikvah today. And I could not help, though, when I saw this, I had to step down. I had to put my hand there because I thought to myself, if this is where our Lord actually came and used this mikvah and the apostles, I wanted to touch the same waters that they no doubt had touched at one time. And I realize the water has gone long since then, but it was just an incredible time to get to see this, and we wanted to share that with you. And again, as I'm standing on the outside of St. James's Church there, where, by the way, the Messianic Seal was discovered in Jerusalem. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I trust it blesses you as well.